Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over some Star Wars figures from LEGO. Let's get to it. So here's Luke Skywalker and a couple Luke-adjacent characters. Luke Skywalker from Tatooine. He still has that weird, kind of smug, like, just stern look. I hate it. It's so... Hmm. doesn't really capture Mark Hamill much at all. Good printing, though. I like it a lot. The grays and the blacks and all the colors just emphasize the print a lot. Looks really nice. Those pants are detailed. I love it. Lightsabers. Chrome hilts. They're all awesome. He switches from blue to green as the films go on. Here's Luke from Endor. I love this print. It's really sort of ratty and dirty in a way. And here's him from the final duel or Jabba's palace or whatever where he's wearing the black cloak. He's kind of gone to the dark side in episode 3. I like the print on this one too. Simple. Understated. C-3PO is great. I like the print on him. A little sort of gradient kind of fade on that. He isn't really a, that much gold, as we usually see him, but he looks kind of nice. Very weathered in a way. R2! I love R2 so much. He's so cute and little. Little beeps and boops and stuff. I love the details on this print right here. It's really nice. Really good. And then, lastly, we come to Yoda. Good print on him. The face isn't really that well done. It's just a block of just sand green color. I think that's sand green. I hope it's sand green. Yeah. And then the backs. Here's some back printing for Yoda, which is nice. Pretty intricate. C3PO2. Looks really good. I don't think we have any for these three. Let me check on this guy. No. Yeah, Yoda wins back print for this one. C3PO is pretty good, too. Yeah, they're all nice. Good figures. Really solid. Really good. So here's a lot of figures that came out in the Cloud City set a while ago. Let's go over them. Luke Skywalker's really cool. I like his sort of shirt thing. The pants, a lot of pockets. I don't like his expression though. His face looks really kind of just, hmm, just bored. Leia's kind of the same. Her expression's really muted as well. I like her kind of outfit though. It's pretty nice. Good printing on there. Some gray on there to make a little sort of just dirt and grime and stuff. The hair print's also new, pretty cool. I haven't seen that in a while, at least. Luke's hair is on every single Luke. That's pretty cool, though. Lando! Little smug face print there, it's great. He comes with a little blaster over there with a blue tip. I like his outfit. He has a double sided cape, which is pretty cool. You don't really see that too much in Lego. Then, we, last but not least, we have Boba Fett, which is incredibly rare, incredibly exclusive, and incredibly pricey. He looks awesome. I love his print. I love how he looks. He's great. Yeah. He's awesome. Cool figure. Really intricate prints on the sides of his arms. Lego didn't really do that. And they don't really do it much now either. Amazing. Here's Han Solo. Poor guy. Stuck in carbonite. Little computer chips and stuff on the top. A couple blasters for Boba Fett. Let's go to the back. Nothing, nothing. Back printing wasn't really that prevalent in those days. Nothing. Just shift this cape over a little bit if I can. I can't, so I'm just going to flip it a little bit if I can, not to wreck it. And nothing. There's nothing. Nothing for Han either. But yeah, Cloud City. Very rare set. A lot of rare minifigures. They're awesome, though. So here's some more of our classic characters we know to love, and some pig guy over there. Let's get to him. Han Solo! He's really cool. He has a little brown pants with a little bandolier. Buckle and belt and stuff. I love that jacket he always wears. It's awesome. The vest and the shirt. And the little smile, little cocky smile. It's great. Chewie's... Eh, he's okay. He needs eyes! <laughs> it's really weird. Um... Uh, yeah, it's really weird. He doesn't. He needs eye printing. He has the nose print. Give, give him some eyes, little dots, just whatever, just something. I love his bandolier. Looks really nice. The print's good. It just needs an update. That's all. Little blaster in his hand too. He basically looks like he's made of chocolate, except for that silver. Thank goodness. Slave Leia, I think, is the only Princess Leia I own that is just like this. I feel like I might have an actual Princess Leia somewhere in all my minifigures, but so far I haven't had found the headpiece yet, so here's Leia, I guess. She's pretty rare. Got the uh, 
weird bra thing with the skirt. It's kind of, it's very demeaning. It's kind of, they call her Warrior Layer now, and I'm glad that's done. I also love how she chokes out Jabba at the end. I have Jabba. I don't know where he is, though. He's probably somewhere upstairs. But yeah, we got the hair. Same kind of color as Chewie. Obi-Wan comes with a lightsaber. He looks awesome. I like the stern look on his face. It's a shame that Alec Guinness doesn't like Star Wars that much. But I'm at least glad he was in it. He did a really good job at Obi-Wan. Great job for that movie, at least. Very good printing. Looks nice. The hair is like Luke's, but different colored. Gamorrean Guard! I love this guy. Little pig man. He's kind of cute. Nothing much else to say here, though. He's just kind of a weird pig guy. It's all one piece, by the way. He has a brown torso. Looks alright. Let's check out the backs. Leia has a peg you could put a chain into or something. Nothing really much for Gamorrean Guard or anybody else. No real back pain to speak of except for Chewie back here, who has the silver. Yeah. These guys are pretty good. Good job, Lego. Good job, Disney and Lucasfilm for saying, hey, we should change Slave Leia to a different name. Yeah. These are some pretty good figures. So here's some dark side guys and sort of villain characters. I don't know who this guy is. No, I'm just kidding. It's Darth Vader. I love Darth Vader. He's really cool. He just is awesome. Underneath his helmet, you have this face. Pretty scary. Pretty good. I love the head sculpt on him. The helmet looks really nice. The print's good. No printing on the legs. You don't need it. He has a lightsaber, chrome hilt. Really good. I think my favorite character in the entire Star Wars series as a whole is the Emperor. He's just a phenomenal old man, and he proves my theory that behind every evil company is a bitter old man. I like his robes. They look nice, kind of intricate in a way. His cape's a little frayed, but it works well for him. I haven't washed this thing in years. It smells a lot and adds to my evil. Join the dark side. Okay. Stormtrooper. Just your generic little Stormtrooper guy. Blank head. Pretty simple. Little intricate print. Looks good. Snowtrooper is good as well. He looks really nice. I like the uh, visor on him. Looks pretty good. Little pouches. We also have a Snowtrooper. He looks cool. Also, oh, just <laughs> knock that off. Okay. Take off his hat. Yeah. Also a jetpack on the back. And Boba Fett. He has a little crack on his torso right over here, but... I love this guy. He's still really cool. Everyone likes him because he's just so mysterious, and he spoke up to Darth Vader once. I like his printing. It's really cool. His printing always reminds me of a face on his torso. You know, he got an eye over here, and an eye and nose, and a frowny mouth. He looks great. On the flip side... Nothing. I think we get some stuff for the snowtrooper. His head will not come off though for some reason. I think it's the same thing as the. Uh... No, it's different. It's pretty cool though. Good figure nonetheless. The jetpack is a really nice touch. The little backpack thing. Nothing for this one. For this guy over here, looks good. And then the emperor. I don't think we have anything for him. That's a that's a blank print of it. Ever saw one. And then Vader is nothing as well. Yeah, there's nothing on there. Anything on the back of the head? No. Yeah, pretty good figures. Very old school. I like these figures a lot. The yellow faces before they went to flesh colored. They look really nice. I like the Emperor the best still. He's still awesome. So here's a couple of characters that are just villain adjacent or just adjacent to episode three. I.e. all the characters that I have that I can't fit into a category before. So we have a Tusken Raider. I love the bandoliers. They look really cool on him. He has the print of this little sort of weird breather thing here. It looks 3D. I like how well they made that look 3D with the gradient. His face is kind of cute. It's like very sort of mole or squirrel or very puckered weird face. I like how he looks a lot. I also like how they humanize the Tusken Raiders in the Mandalorian. That's really cool. They gave him, like, sign language and stuff. The initial impression of Mandalorians that I got was this big guy with a club 
waving it over your head and rrr, 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 that kind of thing, but they've humanized them a lot, and I love that. Tuscan Raider representation. You go, Star Wars. Next we got Bib Fortuna. He's, uh, I think, Jabba the Hutt's main right-hand man or something. He a, has a good print. I like his weird bulbous -y head. That's pretty awesome. He has a weird sort of snake tendril hair thing going on there. And a nice silver print on his chest with a lot of, like, a cheese grater armor. That'd be horrible, going into battle with cheese grater armor. <laughs> you just strip armor off your enemies and just give them a big hug. Oh, this droid has a name, I forgot. EV... D e DVD EV EVD six or something. I know one of those letters or all the combinations correct. You just said in order. Uh, this is a pretty good droid. Uh, looks really cool. I like the dark red. The the head's really interesting because it's an upside down head, just a hole in the middle. It's weird. He's cool. Ewok. I hate how there's no face printing on it. It's just a solid block of brown. It's very weird. I hope that no one mistakes this guy for chocolate, and eats him. Ewoks are cute. I don't get why people don't like it. It's kind of a sort of the natives of the land fend against the oppression of the government. It's sort of a uh, Native American versus British soldier or cowboys or something. Cowboys and quote unquote cowboys and Indians. That kind of thing. I don't get why people are. It's like Avatar. It's basically Avatar. Except you have little teddy bears. I don't know. Merchandising, I guess. And we have an Imperial officer. He looks nice. Simple print, very small little little uh, silver badge on him. Very simple Lego man, very, very Lego man uh, face print on him. His little hat that's cute. Uh, who gets back printing? No, no, he has a cape, so probably no. Tuscan Raider gets nice pouches and stuff. He's a good figure. Flipping this cape up, if I can. Taking the head off, actually. He has no print on the back. This piece is super cool and I love it. Bib Fortuna is awesome. And yeah, those are my adjacent characters to the Star Wars universe, I guess. Guys, I couldn't fit in their category. I like Bib Fortuna the best with Tusken Raider second. Uh, Chocolate Ewok is third. <laughs> Imperial Officer is final. And I forgot this droid's name. He's before that. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So here's a bunch of guys with lightsabers and capes, well, except for one of them. Let's get to it. So here we have Obi-Wan with a braid by his chest. That's pretty cool. Looks really nice, good figure. Chrome hilts on the lightsabers for all of these, as was standard way back when. They look really cool, don't know why they changed it. Anyways, good print. Same print for all three figures here, though. For Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, and the older Obi-Wan over here. Qui-Gon Jinn has a good face print. Very stern. I like his head braid thing. His hair. It's pretty new, pretty cool. For the old school Obi-Wan, or new, the old school younger, older, whatever. Not the oldest, but you know what I mean. Middle age or whatever. Obi-Wan training Anakin over here. Looks nice. Also, this one has a braid, too. It's pretty good. Gotta say, though, the capes are very frayed, but what are you gonna do? Age and whatnot. Pretty good figure. I like the smile on this one. Very classic Lego. This guy, Jedi Knight. He's very rare. Comes in one set. Pretty cool, though. The only Jedi that have a gray robe on him, so... I think people would get a lot of him for customizing. You know, he'd be a good figure for customization in the future. He has a good face. I like the hood. Good hood print, at least. The good mold for the hood. Count Dooku is a star here, though. He's really cool. Looks nice. He has a different kind of blade hilt than everybody else. It's curved instead of straight. That's pretty nice. He has a chain connecting his, his uh, cape to him, at least on the print. Nice little belt. Very frayed cape, though. Very old, stern face he's got. Looks pretty good. Little wrinkles on there. Same hair as Luke, at least. I do not expect any of these to have back printing at all. Uh, let's see. 
Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Nope. Take that hair off. No alternate heads on the back, I think, anyways. They don't really do that. They do that nowadays, but not back then. Nope. And nope. Very simplistic figures, but they're still cool and I like them a lot. So here's some more figures from episode 1, I believe, at least. Darth Maul, the big star of the show right here. He has a double blade lightsaber that everyone freaked out over in the theater years ago. He has a nice print on him. The same kind of robe thing as everybody else. I like his face. It's kind of creepy, very scary. But it's, it's good. Jar Jar Binks is hated by everyone, yet... I don't... I don't care. <laughs> He's just a character in a movie. Whatever. I gave him gray hands because I couldn't find his tan hands. I think I gave him to Bib Fortuna. He has a very good sort of face sculpt, head sculpt, but otherwise it needs printing. It just needs more printing on him. It's a very lazily done figure, as is apropos for the character, I think. Super Battle Droid is awesome. He's blue and shiny and amazing and very rare. Really cool figure. I like him a lot. Geonosian's pretty cool too. He also comes with a version without the cape right over here. But other than that, he's nice. Gold printing on him. Uh, it just looks really weird. Very strange figure. It, literally, he's got like a weird kind of stomach thing going on. I like his little cape thing. It's a very tough kind of material, plasticky. The head print's really weird. Sculpt at least. It's nuts. Looks very strange. Clone Trooper, just your standard Clone Trooper. Nothing really much to see here. Black hand under, head underneath. Blaster right over here. Looks really good. Pretty nice. Same kind of thing we saw with the other Troopers, I believe. So Bulba is uh, Anakin's rival in pod racing. Really nice figure. Little claw grip over here. I like the head. Up close, he looks really nice. Really good printing on him. I'm really surprised. Good job, Lego. So Bob was pretty cool. On the back, we get some back printing for the clone trooper. None for the Geonosis guy. None for the one without the wings, at least. Very hollow back for the super battle droid. Kind of a shame. Jar Jar, nothing really. And let's see Darth Maul. Nothing on the back of the head, nothing on the back of the back. Overall, pretty nice little set of characters. I think Sabob was one of my favorites, actually. Next to the Super Battle Droid, they're both pretty cool. The Genosin's good. Darth Maul's nice. Clone Trooper's just Clone Trooper, and Jar Jar is eh. Double late lightsaber, though. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So here's a whole bunch of battle droids I have. Let's go over them. Just your standard battle droid for the first three at least. Different armaments and stuff. Different arms they have. The grip that is horizontal, the grip that is vertical. We got a little blaster over here. Moving down the line, this one has a little mark, a little dot of yellow on him as well as on his head. And this one also has a dot. Well, it doesn't have a dot, but it has just yellow, plain yellow all across the body. Nothing on the back, on the top. Then we have blue over here. Different versions of blue. I don't even know what kinds these are. They all have different names and stuff, but they're all just cannon fodder, just meant to be destroyed. Pretty cool figures though. They look nice. Battle droids. So here's some more battle droids we have. Three red ones over here in the front. They look kinda nice. I gotta point out that the one in the middle has some markings on the chest. That's pretty cool. They have red on the tops of them. They look good. Good battle droids. Nothing on the back, by the way. Next up we have these orange ones. These sort of like burnt red color. They look pretty good. This one is red on the uh, yellow on the top. A little another yellow dot. Don't know what that yellow dot really means. These have little jetpack binocular things. These last two. And they have different colored arms. I like the variety of hands you can have. You can either have horizontal or vertical. Then we have a Geonosian battle droid, which should have a backplate. I have no clue where it is, though. It's just a 
two by one brick stud thing. And a blaster to round things out. So yeah, that's all my battle droids. Right there. They look really cool. Is it even a wonder I like all these by now? They're really cool and awesome figures. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!